Hello and welcome to Velo Today. Today we're going to be demonstrating on how to take the front tire off of your bike, placing the bike up on the roof rack. Then we'll demonstrate on how to take your bike off of the roof rack, replacing the front tire, aligning your brakes, and making sure you're ready to go out and ride. Alright, so for starters I always like to go off to the roof rack first. Uh, that way you're not having to mess around with the bike. Here we have a Thule rack. Our rack actually locks up the bike, so we're going to want to unlock it right here. Flip it up. And then I always like to go to the back part where the back strap for the back tire goes and I like to unlock it and slide it to the very back of the rack. That way it's out of the way. All right, so you wanna be holding your bike just like this, standing next to it. That way you got a firm grip on it. It's not gonna go anywhere and it just, it makes it really easy to access all the different things you need to be able to take your front tire off. Um, so for starters, you wanna reach down, you wanna, there's a little lever right here that connects to your brakes and you wanna flick that up. That'll actually release and open up your brakes. Then from there, you wanna bend down a little bit farther you want to undo the lever to your wheel and then spin it a little bit. It doesn't really matter, you can spin it two, three times just until the tire will come off. Um, then you're ready, you can place one hand down on the tire and lift the bike right out. All right, now that we got our front tire off the bike, I usually place the front tire up against the car that way there's no chance of it kind of going anywhere. Um, also during this time, I don't like to let the front of the bike or the forks hit the ground, so I usually always hold it with a firm grip right here. Um, now that the tire's off and we have it set aside, we're ready to set the bike up on the rack. Um, I usually like to grab it in both these spots, one at the, the seat post and the other one at the stem of the bike. Um, that way i got a good firm grip and I can kind of move the bike around. I always like to take the back tire, place it into the tray first, then set the forks into the fork mounts on the rack. Then with one hand, close that shot. Come to the back back here, slide this back down into the appropriate position. You might need to realign your tire though so that the spokes aren't in the way. Now your tire's gonna differ, so you don't really have to do this too tight, especially if your tire's made out of carbon or a metal that can bend easily. You don't wanna ruin that. Um, now we're ready to lock it. Check the bike for stability, make sure it's not gonna go anywhere and it looks like we're ready to go. All right, now that we're ready to get our bike back off the rack, we wanna make sure we grab our spare tire right here out of the trunk or wherever we set it. I usually just set it right next to the driver's side door, that way it's nice and handy. We also wanna take our key and unlock our rack. Before I release this, I always wanna to go to the back and release the back part right here. So you push in the black knob, that'll release it pull it out, slide it back and out of the way. Now I like to grab my bike right here by the middle of the frame, lift that up, grab onto the fork. You can grab anywhere else on the bike, I just like to grab onto the fork and then move it straight up off the bike. Set the back tire back down on the ground, make sure you don't let the front forks hit it and then you grab it by the head on that firm grip. All right, now that we got our bike off of the rack and we got our front tire in our left hand, ready to place our front tire into the bike. We wanna slide it in between the forks and give it a little jiggle so that the forks and the mounts slide in. Now that they're in, we want to tighten our clamp. Every once in a while, you want to tighten it just to make sure where you're at. You don't want it too loose. You don't want it too tight. It's about good right there. Also, we want to go back up, lock in our brakes. We also want to make sure that there's good distance in between our brake pads and our wheel. Um, you can just spread those apart with your hands. And now you wanna give your bike a quick spin, your front tire, pull the brake just to make sure everything's working. And Thanks for joining us here at Velo today. Enjoy your ride.